Welcome back. Training day two, delts. Similar to chest day, we're gonna start this out with a heavy movement. We're gonna use barbell presses, then superset that with a moderate, moderately weighted dumbbell uh, lateral. First, a few warm-up sets. Very important to do this for shoulders because you do not want to injure your shoulder. Trust me on that. I prefer the barbell press using a power rack. That way you're starting from the position where your hand is near about your ear level and you can push up and use that sort of range of motion. I prefer the seated version of this opposed to the, as opposed to the standing version. That way uh, I just find it a little bit safer and focusing a little bit more on shoulders. Uh, now here I'm doing uh, 45 pound plates on each side. This was a first thing, so I only hit two reps. Um, and of course, we're going to superset this with the dumbbell laterals. Now you can see here, it's nice to have a mirror beside me because I'm trying to keep nice and flat back, trying to keep those delts kind of rolled back a little bit so that the side delt is on top. And I'm just kind of focusing on feeling the tension. Now I'll show you another angle here. And what I want you to see here is that I'm not going down all the way. One thing I've seen people do is kind of hunch over and put the dumbbells underneath their legs. The reason why I'm not, it was a trick I will give credit to Ben Pakulski for, is to simply make it harder and keep that tension constantly on the delt. So try doing that. It's really tough, really tricky. Oh, and here you go, some negative drop sets to finish it off. This'll just kill your shoulders in the end. It feels awesome. You're going to feel that burning. So try doing these uh, kind of L things at the end. Look how <laughs> dead I am. What am I doing now? Oh, I'm writing down. Oh, and do that too. What a smart guy I am. After three sets of that first superset, I typically like to hit my rear delts to get that nice and going. Now I'll use hypertrophy style for that. So that'll be, you know, about four sets of eight reps. Uh, one of my favorites is the rear pec deck. Alternately, you can uh, bend down and do a rear delt lateral. It's a bit tricky to see here, but I've got my head resting up against a steep incline bench. And the challenge with this one, you can see, I actually get better as I go on, is trying to keep my arms straight. Like they should be a little bit more forward than this coming out. Uh, that makes it really difficult. Another good rear delt move that is often overlooked is a rear delt row where you're actually doing a similar kind of rowing thing as you would with a dumbbell row. Uh, the difference being that you're really focusing on your rear delt as opposed to your lat. So it's going to be kind of wider out and you're going to be uh, focusing on moving with that there. A great way to finish up delt day is by doing three-way delts. So some people call them six ways, but I usually call them three ways because it's sort of three directions up to the front, then up in front of you and back down. Uh, it's a lot of time under tension. Uh, one of the nice additions to this is you get some uh, trap work in there as well. Pump that up, It'll look nice and manly. Um, and it's, it's sort of work in the front delt and the sides too. So you're gonna get a great pump, finish it up with about, you're gonna uh, do about, again, four sets of eight reps. So this year, Boom, 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 boom. That's one rep. As you can see here, I'm not using very heavy weights. You won't have to. Uh, by this point in your workout, you're gonna be a little bit fatigued anyway. Uh, so don't worry about lifting heavy weights for this. Again, everything is nice and under control. What we wanna do with shoulders is we really wanna feel that burn and, uh, and this will help them to get nice and big and Superman-esque. Since I love shoulder training so much, uh, I'm going to give you a couple other little moves here. Starting with Arnold presses, I do two variations of it here. So I'm going to do this first one for you. And then I'm going to show you a slight variation that I like to do a little bit uh, once in a while, which is a bit of a killer. So I'll let myself describe it to you here. Now I'm going to do a slightly modified version. 
that, that I find to be quite the killer. And some dumbbell upright rows. I prefer these to barbell upright rows because they're easier on my wrists. Uh, they're okay. They're okay. They're not necessarily my go-to, but they're a fun one to do once in a while. And they do look kind of cool, so... We'll finish the day up with some ab work. Uh, now, one of the things you need to realize with abs, what we want to do is we want to sort of work them hypertrophy style in that... We want to really feel them burning. Uh, we want to really feel the muscle working. And remember that it's about spinal movement. That's the function of the abs more so than hip movement. So let's really try to feel that. Uh, let's feel it burn. Again, do about, about either three sets of 10 or uh, four sets of eight thereabouts. And, uh, and that should be plenty. Uh, keep the rest periods short for these. You kind of have to for abs to really feel them burning. And that'll also help with the metabolic effect that we're after here. You're not going to burn a ton of fat, so don't get tricked into that. But it is going to help, and it's going to help your abs to pop a little bit. So even if, um, if your weight is not quite where you want it to be at the end of this, having abs that are, are popping a little bit should help with that illusion a little bit. So for today's ab training, we're going to focus on the obliques. What I like to do for them is bicycle crunches, and I start with an isometric squeeze first, and then, when this is done, I go into uh, to fast kind of movements. Uh, after my short break here, you'll see in a sec, there we go. So I'm just killing them absolutely. Just like I warm up my shoulders every day, I also, cool them down by doing one of these little hang stretchy thingies. I usually try to go for up to about 30 seconds of hanging. Uh, that way I stretch them out nice and good and uh, I find it uh, cools me down a little bit. Rule of thumb is do dynamic stuff in the start of your workout and uh, static stuff at the end of your workout.